hello guys welcome back to the ctx cloud and today we are going to start a new series of netscaler in this series we are going to learn how we can load balance our infra servers to the netscaler apart from that we are going to learn how gslb works how we can configure the citrix gateway how we can configure the ssl certificates in netscaler so all these things we are going to learn in this series so let's start with the netscaler in introduction Starting with the quick introduction of Netscaler, why Netscaler, Netscaler is built. The ADC are the purpose to build networking appliance that improves the performance, security, resiliency of the application delivered of, over the web. Means whenever you are delivering any application over the internet, so uh, what Netscaler will do, Netscaler will enhance the performance, it will give the secure connection to the end user. So that's why Netscaler is built now we are going to talk about the types of netscaler so netscaler is available as mpx sdx vpx cpx or in the cloud so in the cloud uh, the netscaler is present in the amazon uh, web services also in the microsoft azure let me tell you the difference between all these so what is mpx so mpx generally a physical box which we will mount in our data centers so it's a physical net scaler and inside that we need to manually add the LAN cables, fiber cable, etc. So what is STX? So STX also a type of physical box, but on the top of that we can run multiple net scaler appliances. Now we are going to talk about the VPX. So VPX is generally a virtual appliance of net scaler, which we can install on the hypervisors. What is hypervisors like uh, the Citrix hypervisor is Zen server. VMware hypervisor is ESXi. Uh, Windows hypervisor is like uh, Microsoft hypervisor is Hyper-V. So on top of that hypervisor, we can install the VPX version of the Netscaler. CPS is like a Docker type of host which will provided by the Citrix. So let's start our lab and we are going to install this VPX version of the Netscaler in our lab. So let me go inside my server. So this is the server. Uh, this is a physical server. On the top of that, I have installed the Microsoft Hyper-V. So this is also a hypervisor. So to install the Netscaler, first you guys need to install the v uh, Netscaler appliance from the Citrix website. To download it, you guys need to go on Google and type Citrix downloads. And here you guys need to go on the Citrix download products. And from here, you guys can download the Citrix ADC. So once you have the appropriate account from the Citrix, you guys uh, will get the option to download Citrix uh, Netscaler appliance for uh, Hyper-V, for ESXi. So based on your hypervisor, you guys can install, uh, download the Netscaler appliance. So I have downloaded for the Hyper-V. Uh, that's why I'm not going to download it again. Now let's go to our lab and we will install the Netscaler. First of all, you guys need, click on, need to click on import virtual machines. Click on next. Here you guys need to give the destination folder where you guys have downloaded the Netscaler appliance from the Citrix site. So I have downloaded this. So click on this. Click on next. It will automatically pick the Netscaler virtual appliance name. Click on next. Here you guys need to select this. Copy the virtual machines and create a new unique ID. Click on next. Now this is the location where it is going to put the Netscaler files. Click on next. Here you guys need to give the virtual hard disk destination folder. So let me select this. I am going to select this Netscaler too. So you guys need to create a folder if you have already Netscaler. Otherwise you can you guys can go with the default installation. Click on next and click on finish so now you guys can see that it start copying the dynamic vhd from the folder which we have downloaded from the citrix side and then it will automatically install the netscaler you guys can see that it's performing import operations the virtual uh, appliance of the netscaler has been imported now i need to do some changes on that first of all i am going to change the name of this uh, virtual machines so click on right click and click on rename name it net scalar 2 that's fine after that you guys need to change the network settings so just right click click on settings and here i need to select uh, the adapter 
so uh, you guys need to first remove this because it's legacy network adapter click on ok after that you guys again need to click on settings and click on add hardware after that you guys need to select network adapter click on add click on ok again you guys need to go on settings and you guys need to change the adapter and just connect this with LAN so this uh, thing we are doing inside this uh, virtual type but in uh, MPX you guys need to physically mount the LAN cable in Netscaler click on OK now it's time to start the Netscaler click on start and you guys can see that Netscaler start booting so the boot process has been started it will take some time that's why I am going to pause this video now the installation has been done now it's asking enter the adc ipv4 address this is the netscaler ip you can say that ns ip give the ipv4 address i am giving 192.168.1.1110 click enter now it's asking for the subnet mask give the 255.255.255.0 click on enter now it's asking for the default gateway so 1.1 .1 is my default gateway so click on enter 4 to save and quit so i am pressing 4 and now it's saving the uh, ip address into the netscaler to configure all backend changes so it will take like one or two minutes so finally it's on the login screen uh, now we are ready to access the netscaler via web console so just type enter the same ip 192.168.1.1110 and press enter and you guys can see that my netscaler is accessible now just press the default username and password so ns root ns root is the default username and password for the netscaler now we need to change the password for that and just change the netscaler password click on change password and we are ready to go this is the end of our first video quick introduction to the netscaler how we can install the netscaler on hyper-v if you guys think that my videos are informative just like my video subscribe my channel and Put your questions and queries into the comment section. I will try to reply you. Thank you. Thank you guys.